Well, greetings, friends. It's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush. And another collage. This one is my third, um, <laughs> I almost said attempt, my third collage of boots. And the first two were, shall we say, less than stellar, at least in my estimation. I think I really like this one the best so far. And to start out, Naturally, I've got to sketch it in and um, decide where the shadows are and stuff like that. And once it's all sketched in, then I can begin laying in my pieces. Um, background first. And because these boots are, well, two-toned, dark and light. I decided to have an almost white background, very, very pale, and I thought that would work best. And in the end, it certainly did. I like the effect very much. I found some paper that had um, a photograph of wrinkled paper, and it looks perfect. I really like how it looks on this uh, background. Sometimes you just stumble across something that, that just works so well that, uh, that you're amazed. At least I am sometimes. Sorry about the noisy dogs. Not much I can do about the neighbors. Dogs. Wow. And so, as the weather gets cooler, I've been opening my windows so you can probably hear them like really loudly. I know I can more than I want to. Also on this, I found um, some orange in a magazine photo of, well, this was a, a skateboarding magazine. And the photo was of this skateboarder on um, stairs, or the railing of stairs. But the, but the photo was really large and they had put an orange tent on it no, for artistic purposes, no doubt. And the orange gravel in front of the um, stairway is just perfect for these two-toned shoes where, you know, I want the light, orangey, warm. For the, uh, for the bottom part of the shoe and um, a darker brown for the upper part. It just worked perfectly. I just, sometimes you come across just the right colors and they dance together. They love each other. So this one made me very happy because the colors were working together so well. This week we'll be taking down the art show that's going on at our city hall and putting up a new show <laughs> almost immediately um, downtown, which, you know, these shows are, although I love getting my work out there and having them seen, it's a lot of work for, for me because I am, um, the treasurer of our group and then I that means I've got to be there when people bring things in and when people take things away I need them to sign their pieces out so you know security purposes I know who came and got what 
and plus I want to enter pieces and that means that I have to have them framed and prepared and ready and it's just it really is a lot of work it's fun but it's a lot of work so I've got my work cut out for me this week you would think that these um, cowboy boots don't have that much in the way of detail but there really is a lot of detail because to make it look realistic you have to have shadows you have to have where where pieces of leather are sewn together you've got to have a seam and and shadows there if you leave something off it becomes quite obvious um, that something is missing and it almost takes on a cartoony look when um, something is missing. Which is not what I want, naturally. Also, this one had some details across the front of the instep that was just, you know, uh, artistic and I was going to leave it off and then I thought, you know, it really needs those details that it just adds something. And the soles have to be a slightly different color of brown than, than the um, instep of the shoe. See there, I'm putting shadows underneath where the two layers of, of uh, leather are meeting because that just, uh, the, that it's like framing a picture, it just adds something. Without it, it's flat. And each of the stars have to stand away from the, the rest of the shoe. And so I had to put shadows underneath each of the points of the stars <laughs> where the shadows would be. I was going to leave that off. And then I thought, you know, that star just sitting there looks like it's pasted on, which technically it is. But I don't want it to appear just pasted on. I want it to appear to have depth. Then I put a few highlights where the light would be shining, um, reflected light on one side of the stars and highlights on the other side. And so here it is, finally finished. I added a few words here and there because I can, it's a collage. And it's not perfection. I wish I had cut the stars a little bit better. But there they are. Tell me what you think. And um, do give me a thumbs up. I certainly appreciate everyone who checks out my videos and watches all the way to the end. It means a lot to me. And do come again. I have a Patreon page and several other links to books that I have published in, in the links below. So bye everyone. I'll see you next time. Have a good week. <laughs>